Greetings in the name of our God, who is life, love, and laughter. Welcome again to my sitting room. It's Wednesday, May 27th, hump day. These days, during this time of coronavirus, sometimes I feel overwhelmed with all that has to be done or that could be done, all the new things that we need to be doing. There are new ways of being, new ways of listening, new ways of greeting people, new ways of community. And it's all so new. I hear that the hardware stores are doing a great business nowadays as people take on projects, renovations, repair that they've been putting off. Now, you know that any one of these projects takes at least three trips to the hardware store. There's the first trip for initial materials. And then we make mistakes and that means another trip to the hardware store for more material and maybe some advice. And sometimes we have to go back for new materials and maybe even a new tool because we've discovered that what we're trying to do has to be done a different way. But I'd like to tell you a story about a professor who is no one in particular and everyone in general. There was, there was, and there was not a professor of comparative religions who was particularly interested in Zen Buddhism. Oh, he was very diligent. He studied a lot. He read everything. He learned as much as he could to understand Zen Buddhism. Happily, he had an opportunity to go to Japan and visit a real Zen master. Oh, he was so excited, really excited. He was going to have an opportunity to sit down and learn from a Zen master, a real Zen master. The day arrived and he sat down with the Zen master and he was eager to let the master know that he was a worthy student, that he had really worked hard and learned and was very diligent in his studies. He talked for a rather long time. The Zen master sat quietly, listening thoughtfully. Then the master gathered together materials for the tea ceremony. Oh my, the professor was so excited. He was overflowing with joy. He had read so much about the tea ceremony and now he was actually going to be able to participate in one. The master lit a small flame to heat water and meditatively, thoughtfully prepared all the ingredients. When all was ready, he took a cup and the teapot and began to pour. Expectations rose in the, in the professor as he waited anxiously. And the master poured and the cup was filled and the professor expected the master to, ceremoniously of course, hand him a cup of tea. The master poured. The tea rose to the lip of the cup and still the master poured. Tea began to spill over the edge of the cup and flow down. Still the master poured. Tea began to spill down and onto the floor. Still the master poured. The professor was getting very anxious and agitated. What is he doing? Why does he not stop? Does he not see the tea spilling all over? Finally, the professor could stand it no more. Wait, stop, he called. The tea, it's spilling all over. The master looked at him thoughtfully and said, You are too full. You are so full of yourself. You are so full of your own knowledge that you cannot learn any more. There is no room 
for anything new. There is no room for anything that might change or alter your understandings and your learning. Go home. Empty yourself. And then return when you are able to receive. Sometimes I feel like that. So full of my own anxieties. So full of misplaced thoughts of having to learn everything and do everything and know how to do everything just right, right now. Sometimes I feel so full of my own anxieties that it's hard. But we place one foot in front of another and we learn with every single step. This is a long journey and perhaps we can use this time of the coronavirus to clean out the attics and closets of our hearts, minds, and emotions. Clear them out of the baggage that we have accumulated over the years. Clean out all that would keep us from being who we are. That would keep us from being who we want to be, who we need to be for ourselves and for others. May the blessings and the love of God in Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always.